I am Michelle McPherson, and this is The Michelle McPherson Show, the only internet marketing podcast dedicated to answering your burning business questions. Find us and submit your own questions at fromideatoempire.com. And now for today's episode. Hey gang, Michelle McPherson here. It's another episode of the Michelle McPherson podcast. So today I wanted to share with you some actual results that we've been getting in my business. This is about walking the walk, right? We did a marketing con queso episode, Justin Brooke and I, about some of the biggest lessons learned in 2013. And one of the things that I have to keep relearning year in and year out is consistency, right? You're not going to get anywhere in your business without doing the things that work over and over and over again. You can't just do them once. And to that, um, to that truth, I put into place some uh, Twitter posting in December that I have some results to share with you now. Actually, it was at the very end of November. Um, and what we did basically is I took all of my back content at michellemcpherson.com and all of the good stuff, all of the stuff that is still relevant and still matters today and, and that is still useful, I created a tweet that linked back to it. And then I took all of those tweets and I loaded them into bulk buffer, which then loaded them into my buffer account for me automatically without having to do each one individually. And then I scheduled those posts to go out on Twitter every single day, one a day. And so I have the results are in now. So in the period before I started doing this, when I would just tweet occasionally when I had a new blog post up or something, you know, oh, new blog post, go read it, that sort of thing, um, I got... 61 visits from Twitter in the month prior. I know, super depressing, right? 61 visits, Ugh, aren't I supposed to be like an internet marketing expert? I should be getting more traffic than that from Pinterest, right? But that's where you have to walk your talk. So um, in the month after that, once we actually started publishing to Twitter on the reg every single morning, directing people back to the blog, we ended up getting 543 visits in that month from Twitter. So massive, massive increase. That actually ends up being an 890% increase in traffic from an avenue that I had kind of gotten to the point that I was like, Ugh, it's like dead. No one's on Twitter. No one's paying attention anymore because you don't get as much interaction, much actual um, um, conversation as one used to on that site. However, I can look at this evidence and see people are still there and people are still actually interacting with your content, clicking through, reading the posts, that kind of thing, even if they aren't necessarily speaking back to you on Twitter about that content. So um, should you be publishing to Twitter? Of course, but that consistency, that regularity is the key. And this is going to be the difference between success and failure in anything that you do online. I happen to have some stats to prove it to you for Twitter for specifically, but is this going to stand true for Pinterest, for creating blog posts, for your Facebook marketing? Of course it is. You have got to be consistent with your promotions to get the results that you're looking for. So I hope that these stats were able to inspire you to put some thought ahead of time into your social media marketing and the kind of content that you're publishing on those sites, making sure that you're doing it regularly. Another tool that you can use um, is Twiriad and your Facebook Insights. And if you use both of those tools, Twiriad will tell you when your Twitter audience is online and Facebook Insights, if you go to Facebook Insights and then click on the pages in the upper navigation bar, that will tell you in the last seven days when most of your Facebook audience has been online, right? Now you know when to publish to Twitter and when to publish to Facebook, and then you use Buffer to set up a schedule for those sites that publishes your posts that you've created ahead of time during those time periods when your audiences are uh, most visible online. Um, so those are two tools to get you started. Of course, if all of this is overwhelming or if you just don't like writing social content, of course, we can do that for you. Head on over to socialmediadaily.com and select a package and my team will actually take care of all of these details um, on your behalf, in your voice, promoting your stuff. So um, those are some results. 890% increase in traffic from one social network alone just by being consistent. So um, put on your consistency training wheels for the year ahead. Thanks so much and head on over to michellemcpherson.com if you've got any questions. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.